Grand Rise. Get yourself prepared for the spring. broccoli cobs cabbage cabbage broccoli cabbage giant leaf mustard greens all these ones you see that this color are giant leaf mustard greens the rest of them that's cabbage cabbage in between over there. Broccoli, cabbage. Now those are giant leaf mustard greens. Those rutabagas. Onions. These are the giant onions, these will be larger. The rutabagas off in here. They're doing pretty good. And yeah, they're doing pretty good. And I got carrots right there, a bunch of carrots coming up. Beets back over there. And there are some just regular mustard greens. And I got some spinach coming up. Olive tree. Doing pretty good, my olive tree. Y'all see I made me a compost bin. Just collecting leaves, I throw a rabbit poop over there and all that and you see I have to I'm gonna get me some IV organic to put on this tree because the coal it's a lemon tree see what the coal is doing to the leaves so my nectarine I mean my lime tree And I know it's doing all right because that stalk wasn't that big. It's just that these the lime trees don't like cold at all. And I know it's cold. It gets a little colder here in Texas. That's an orange tree. But I'm going to do, I'm going to put my stuff on them, y'all. IV Organic. IV Organic. Strawberry that are spreading. A giant leaf mustard green that dropped off in there. You see these, you see these onions, how big they are. Lettuce, it's coming back. I cut it, I ate it. And those are radishes out there, those few little greens you see out there. But I've cleaned up my garden because I'm throwing, I'm not throwing, I'm going to plant some more stuff corn and stuff. This is broccoli. Here you are. These four plants. These are broccoli. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. We got to keep growing. We got to keep growing. We got to keep growing. That's my nectarine tree. Minus this bag. <laughs> Rabbit poop all around it. I just gathered these giant leaf mustard greens to give to my neighbor across the street. Mom, she's cool. About to plant some more seeds. And I dug up this the other day. I'm gonna plant some potatoes in here. 
those are all carrots. These are bell peppers. I'm going to plant a lot more bell peppers. And as you can tell, these bell peppers want to grow. They think that it's springtime again. Almost, baby. But look at this. You see all this new foliage on it? All this new foliage. It thinks it's almost spring. But this week, after tomorrow, it will not be above freezing until Wednesday. Next Wednesday. So it will get above freezing, but it, at nighttime it'll be below freezing for at least a week. And you see the kale. Kale doing extremely well. If you can tell, it's lime, <laughs> lime green. And it will darken up. They're just healthy. That's all. They're just healthy. See the collard greens over there? Those collard greens and this kale and these Brussels sprouts have been up since last spring. Those, this whole garden has been here since last spring, minus those onions that you see. Minus these onions you see. But it's onions, purple onions all in the middle and in the front of those. I'm gonna have me a little, a very little small pepper plant that's coming up. He's been here all year. Pepper plant's been here all year. Cut, I cut them back. I cut them back because I wanted them to grow again. Citronella. Bee balm. Basil. Ro uh, sage. Pineapple. And some more pineapples. That's one right there. And there's one up there. But in between is a blackberry bush. But you all, it's doing pretty good. My two chickens, my two hens here. I had to separate them because one of these black sex links is beating my gray chicken up and put a hole in her head, so I took her out of here. And because that other little hen is her buddy, I just put her over there. But you see, these three guys look alike. You can't tell a villain apart. You can a little bit. He's got more red up under his throat. Her red is deeper, and she doesn't have much red. But they just like to be mean. That red hen came in with those hens up there. They all the same age, these four black and that one white are the same age. I'm going to invent a roof on this, y'all. I'm going to eventually put a roof on this. Yep, I built it, I built it, I built it. Sorry I didn't let y'all see me build, finish building this. But I'm going to put a roof on this. There is cage up at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, but there is cage up there. So nothing can get in. But yeah, I'm definitely going to put a top on that. And I'm going to take this up. I'm going to redo this. I was going to build me a storage, but I'm not, going to, I'm not going to build it up that high. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to move this, take this apart, put it up there, bring that down here and be me another extension to this. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And when it's cold, I sit out here. Y'all see I be chilling out here. That's a little piece of wood. That's my little fire <laughs> hole. 
And I'll bring that stump over here just in case. You know? Yeah, dig. This is my fertilizer I like to use. All purpose. 13, 13, 13. For flowers, trees, shrubs, and vegetable gardens. And you see that's pyrolite, diamaceous earth, and that is fast acting. It breaks your saw down, y'all. Uh, what is it? Gypsum. That's what that is, gypsum. Like if you got hard ground and it breaks, it breaks it. You just throw it out and it breaks it down as it rains. It doesn't, it's not going to make your ground soft or nothing, but it will break it faster. Gypsum. Gypsum. Well, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. And as again, keep growing. We need everybody together. Respect yourself and others around you. Peace.